We are back in Frostpunk playing the Arcs on extreme difficulty. We're going to go for no deaths. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be sketchy, but I think we can do it. We're going to have automatons all over the place as well. We're going to attempt to save New Manchester. Can't promise that, but we are going to have to preserve the seedlings. We're going to keep them above Chile. Otherwise, we're going to fail. So we'll go a little bit into tactics about that a bit later. But to get started, I really want to go and find those factory plans straight away so i'm just gonna get rid of this wood here so i don't know who built these paths but it definitely wasn't me but it's just free it's free wood so you might as well delete them we'll get our automatons and workers on these resource piles so wood crates we'll put one automaton on there and let's get 15 engineers on there we don't have any workers we don't have any children either and one worker will appear later and this is where it might get a little bit sketchy with him dying so we'll have to do a little bit of uh tactics to get him saved but we, again we'll talk about that later so we've got resources coming in i do need to get a uh, workshop down straight away so i'm going to put that there and we're going to research scouts so we're going to do beacon scouts and food straight away i am going to think about faster gathering as well because that'll be very helpful Cool. let's get engineers in there let's get the beacon underway and we also put emergency shift on the workshop so that's what we're going to start with in terms of gathering posts i'm going to put one over here this is going to cover wood and coal because we want that generator working overnight just so we reduce the amount of sick people and so the automaton can refuel can I put another gathering post? Should I do gathering post or should I get tents going? Let's get tents going. I, I feel a little bit bad if I don't give people tents, but I'll get, but I give them a gathering post. <laughs> so we'll uh, get uh, five tents down. That's like the only housing we'll need. Obviously, we'll have to upgrade them later. But uh, like I said, we don't have that many engineers. We only got 45 engineers. A one worker will, uh, will appear later. And then we've got one automaton saying that we are going to be having a lot of automatons here i'm trying to get up to well i want to get up to 13 automatons so we'll uh yeah we'll, we'll deal with that when we when we get the factory plans so let's get another gathering post down it's going to take a little bit of time to place it correctly just so we're not wasting any wood i think that's fine there and I do need to get a cookhouse down and a medical post. Okay. What's this? The automaton can't refuel. Ah, okay. That's not good. <laughs> and the heating's off. We should be fine. I thought this would collect overnight, but clearly they didn't get to work on time. That's okay, though. Don't worry about it. Everyone's got a tent overnight, so no one should die. <laughs> I say that. No one should die. But the annoying thing here is the automaton car refuel. And that's not going to give us enough wood to do our next research, which is very frustrating because we're wasting, we're wasting that emergency shift there. So what I may actually do, let's pause it. Just so we're not wasting time. We're going to get rid of that path there. And I'll put faster gathering on for now. So in terms of saving the seedling arcs, I'm not going to save them all. We're going to let two of them freeze over. Any more than two, I feel like hope goes down too much and you can't recover. But in terms of like coal saving and coal efficiency, if you're saving like all of them, it takes a lot of coal. So you can reduce the amount of coal you're using by not heating two of, two of the arcs. Next, uh, next law we can do emerge, uh, not emergency shift, uh, extended shift, which is my favourite. So we'll get everyone on extended shift. These guys definitely on extended shift because you didn't go to work yesterday. I don't, I don't think it was built in time though. To be fair, so I'll let them off. I do want to get that on as soon as I can, just so the automaton can refuel and start gathering wood again. We've got our first temperature drop in about a day. But that's fine. So what we need to do is 
get the beacon. I'm going to do beacon first. No, I'm not. I'm going to do medical post first. That's what I'm going to do. So we'll get the medical post down. And then I'll build the beacon. I'm going to put that over here. It's a little bit far away, but that's fine. Because we removed that path. And then I need the cook house as well. So far as the gathering research, absolutely fantastic. I do want to do the next uh, next level. What I will do as well, put that on extended shift because that's not an extended shift at the moment. People are getting hungry, so yeah, let's deal with let's deal with that first. So cook house, I want to put. Hmm, let's see where I can put it. I want to be again. I want to be efficient with space here. So let's do a little bit of rearranging. I'm going to put that like that, so it's a different bit of path I'll wait until that is built saying that we've, we've got a lot of um we, we get a lot of wood coming so we can be a little little bit more liberal with what what we're spending I think so yeah let's do drawing boards next then we'll get that underway I want to get that path built so there we go. We'll delete this path and we'll sneak the cookhouse in right next to it. And then, then that gives us enough space to build a factory uh, when we get the factory plans. Is that beacon built yet? No, not yet. But people should be going to build it. So we've got medical posts online now. That's all good. These, let's take these engineers off. We'll put five in there and what I will actually do is another workshop in fact let's do another two workshops and I think yeah here we go the beacons built so I think we can send them out straight away actually we need a little bit more wood storm is on the horizon of course wouldn't be frost punk and the automaton has just refueled just in time before we run out of coal so that's all good so we're doing, uh, what's that? Mechanical uh, drawing boards, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll do drawing boards next, and that is because it opens up more scouts and also uh, the hot house, which we need. It's going to be our only source of food, but we'll get our first scouts over to abandoned suppliers as soon as we can. Right. This is probably yeah. This is so close to. Um, being depleted which is good what I do want to do actually is going to turn this on oh we've got a law we've got a law we cannot waste these laws <laughs> let's do radical treatment and then we'll do overcrowding is that working yeah that is working and we've got a lot of food so we're all good so I think the next thing we need to do is hang on, is that on extended shift yeah that is that is everything's on extended shift that's good um <laughs> Yeah, we need to get Hot House down. I think so. That's going to be the next one to research. So, yeah, let's get that underway. And let's slow down a little bit and see what we're doing. So, those wood crates are depleted. I'm going to get that on the coal pile over here. And I do want to do more scouts. And then I think we're going to have to do like the different resources. So still, I think is going to be a little bit. Yeah, we've only got 37 still. But we've got 67 wood there. We've got 150 wood there. So, yeah, I think we'll do more scouts and then we'll do. I say this. I'm going to I'm going to list off these and I'm going to forget what I've said I'm going to do. So <laughs> we're going to do. Um, still uh, still works. Then we'll do, I want to say wall drill. I don't, to be fair, I don't know. I'm not, I don't even know why I'm thinking about it at the moment. But we'll definitely do steel mill, uh, steel works. I don't know why I always call it steel mill. It's weird. We do have to think about temperature as well, actually, because it's chilly at the moment. If it goes down one more level, it will start to freeze over. So now we've got like a couple more days to, to deal with that. So that's not too bad. I'm actually going to take five people out of there and get them in there and we have got another law we can sign so like i said overcrowding just to get people into medical bays 
and that should be decent. I need, yeah, I want to get that hot house built as soon as possible, which should be today. There we go, hot house. And then we're going to do, oh, I said we'll do steel works, didn't I? But no, we're going to do more scouts. That's what we're going to do, and then we'll do steel, steel works. <laughs> That's that's what I was gonna. That's what I was thinking of. Just how much steel have we got over here? There's still 30 steel there, which is not too bad. We've got another automaton as well on its way to the city now, which is good. And we'll go to the lost dreadnought, which I think is where the factory plans are. So, looking looking good, looking good. So let's get that hot house down. I said I could squeeze it in there, but I can't. <laughs> I think. Right, I think that gathering post is in the way, but it's fine. We won't worry about that. We'll just do a little bit of rearranging, so let's get rid of that for now. Hot house, we'll put it right there. And then we'll rebuild that path. And it's like it was always it was always that way. <laughs> I always I planned it from the very start. Let's just say that. What I'm gonna do as well. And this is going to be a little bit weird at the moment. But I'm going to put another medical bay up here. I want to put it like here. And I'm going to spin it around. <laughs> and this will become apparent later. So stay tuned for that, all right? So the end, like the entrance to this medical bay is on this side, okay? And we'll, we'll, we'll revisit that later. So the Ark... Uh, the Arkling... The Arkling seeds? No, the seedling arcs. Oh, my God. What is what is going on? I I I swear, like when I'm doing like gameplay and talking, my brain just goes like it just goes off. Cool. So hot house is built. People aren't hungry, and we've got people in the cookhouse that we don't actually need. So I'm going to put that down to one, and I've put them back in that uh, gathering post there. So. I'm going to do, yeah, more scouts will be the next one, which we're researching. And these guys have reached the Lost Dreadnought. So we've got a lot of stuff and we've got the factory. So let's take those, bring them back to the city. And then we can start building the factory and the, well, and more automatons as well, which we are going to desperately need. Cool, so more scouts have been researched. I am going to do... Let's think. Still works. That's what we're going to do right now. And I'm going to do another... Uh, another workshop. Just so we can get this done. In terms of hot house, it's built. But I'm going to wait for, for this automaton to come back. And then put the automaton on there. And I think we should be okay. We've got a little bit of time before the seedling arcs will freeze. Uh, people are getting hungry. Hmm. People are getting hungry, which is not, not ideal. Can they hold on for 10 hours? I think they can. I won't address that. The steel wreckage has been depleted. Once these, yeah, once this is like finished, which maybe today no no it won't be today okay still works has been researched so now we need to do heating there we go heaters let's get the still works down i'm gonna put two straight away and get that path built still is going to be very important here because the automatons take a lot of steel <laughs> they take a lot of steel people are hungry let's feed them yeah let's feed them that's fine i won't do the stockpile because i feel like i feel like we could do that but we won't for this now the next law let's do corpse disposal again one of my one of my favorites we'll get this out the way i'm gonna put that up here so like i said we're not gonna be heating we're not gonna be heating this arc here so we can put things that don't need to be heated over out the way that's all good what's going on here feed more with less not now we won't do soup at the moment but we will do that later cool these guys have come back with a lot of stuff absolutely fantastic mainly though you want to get that factory built 
So let's get that up there and we'll send them back out over here. Did we do more scouts? Yeah, we did. Oh, man. We haven't even sent them out. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's find five people. Let's get them out of there. Send them out. Waste the, waste the time there. Sorry, I, that's me just being an idiot. The automaton is nearly here. Oh, right on time, actually. Fantastic. Let's get that onto there. The coal pile just ran out over here as well. I'm going to collect up that little bit of wood. <laughs> that hate wood over there. Probably not the best use of the automaton's time, but it's a frustrating to have it over there. So we'll let it, we'll let it pick up that. It could maybe go and build the factory after. Yeah, so that's picked up. And then we'll get it back on this actually what we'll do we'll get it on the no no we'll put it on the the coal pile so temperatures dropped to minus 40 and now we've got like a little timer on the seedling arc so we've got that little circle when that goes all the way down then it's basically game over <laughs> so like i said we're going to save two we're going to save this one up here and this one here heaters have been researched i'm not going to put them on uh yeah i will actually because i'll forget otherwise <laughs> i've done it many times in the past where i've forgotten cool why are we not getting food that needs to go on extended shift heater on there as well ah fundamental research yeah so this is the uh automaton project thing so essentially our automatons will get more efficient uh, let's do wall drill next because we're going to need that for the scenario. Also, we are kind of running out of wood. Okay, I think we're good for food, actually. I think they're eating raw food, but that's fine for now. Organ transplants. Again, one of my favorites. Permanent boost to efficiency. I do want to get another automaton built, like, right now. But I think we're going to have to do wall, uh, wall drill uh, before we do that, so these are reached a lost dreadnought. Let's go to stone ship. I do want to think about actually getting more heaters around for like everything. I mean, not for this because that's that's depleted now, but maybe this because yeah, people are going to get sick if we don't have them warm. Let's get rid of that path as well, just so we've got a little bit more wood coming in. This is going to freeze over. That's going to freeze over. That's fine. Let's explore. Take that. Go over here. In fact, I'm going to go to Broken Automaton first and then onto the next, uh, onto the next location because it's a little bit quicker. And I feel like, I feel like we're okay for food. So I'm going to put our spare four people in here. Actually, saying that, no, I'm going to put them in the in here because we've nearly got enough for we are one wood away <laughs> there we go the hungry were fed hope rises amazing yeah we are one wood away from an automaton which is very annoying but i do need to keep that coal coming in i need the food basically with this automaton on the hot house this is going to be stockpiling raw food and they're not gonna, they're not, not going to be able to eat enough food <laughs> to, to, to reduce that so that should go up to a healthy number and once that's full then we can um, uh, think about moving that automaton to somewhere else definitely need the wall drill next which is again right on time I don't know what's going on here right on time all over the place uh, so I'm just gonna let that would be gathered over here before I do that no nope, I don't need to put that on extended shift do I Cool. Let's go to industrial ruins with these guys. And there we go. We've got the automaton. Has We've got the automaton. So we've got the autom autonomous city. I'm saying autonomous. Oh, I don't even know. Don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I'm just going to put that on that wood pile just for now so we can get to that 20 wood fairly easily. These guys can explore there. Go to Icefall Mine. Something depleted as well. I think it was this... Oh, hang on. Oh, no, it was this coal pile over here. So we are going to have 
a few more people uh, a few more people available soon so test subject need him we'll give them give them an automaton which one did it give them i'm not sure hopefully it was the food one but let's get the uh, let's get the wall drill down get that connected up and we'll get the automaton on there cool so yeah this has been depleted let's get that removed I'm gonna get rid of this path as well and that path because we we don't need this now and get an automaton on this still works over here what have we got going on in terms of research I am thinking about coal mining coal mining would be a good one however I do want to get to lighter scout sleds in fact we're gonna yeah, yeah actually we'll do coal mining <laughs> we'll do coal mining for now and then we'll go power through to uh, the other one which I just said which is faster scout sleds again I, I would really, all right I've had a very long week okay I've been uh, I've been out every single night after work long days and it's uh it's the easter weekend at the moment so i got four days off and it's only the start and it doesn't bode well because i i slept in quite a lot <laughs> today so it was much needed though it was a much needed rest cool let's take those resources head over to snowy hill and then we want to get these guys back because they've got a lot of resources on them so oh, what have we got now care house we could do get ahead of that fighting arena we could do to get discontent down i'm gonna do care house and then we'll go prosthetics because we are getting quite a lot of sick people now and that's just because it is cold oh i do need to do another heat level okay here we go we got our arcs we're gonna freeze over now that's two have gone so the hope falls a lot as you can see there we go hope hope falls dramatically and i think that's as much as we can do in terms of losing arcs so we're gonna do all we can to keep the other the other lot uh working cool so Let's get the uh, the automatons come off there, isn't it? It's because it's not working for 24 hours. So we're okay for that. What I am going to do is maybe, because we've got 10 workers, maybe do another uh, workshop. And we can get these uh, get these rapid, rapid technology, rapid fire technology researching. <laughs> that's, what, that's what my uh, patent pending name for it is rapid fire technology researching sweet we've got loads of resources come back to us now which is good so let's pause take a step back for a minute and like just think what we're doing so i'll put people on the cookout just so we can start converting that food the automaton is back available so we'll put them back on the cookhouse do i want to do another automaton i feel like i do but also yeah let's do another automaton that is a good shout but then let's get another workshop down and we will research the next heat level and we need steam hubs actually while we're waiting for that we can disband these guys that gives us 40 wood back um this guy needs a steam core we'll give it so the automaton's efficiency will rise by five percent that's absolutely fantastic yeah i think the i think i said we were going to power through to the next level didn't i but we need the steam hub definitely in fact i might do steam hub and then we'll do the uh we'll do the other one <laughs> we'll do steam hub and then power upgrade two because i i kind of want to keep these hot because we are getting a lot of sick people at the moment and that's because everywhere is chilly 
fact, let's put overdrive on right now. I need to use overdrive more. That's one of the things I don't do. Are these all on extended shift? Yeah, they are. Cool, we've got automaton doing nothing. What do we want them on? Probably wall drill. So, I, I probably should say this. Autonomous city, we need at least two people in coal, one in the steel industry, one in the wood industry, one in the raw food industry. So, we're going to need five in total. But we're not going to stop there. Oh, let's do... Yeah, let's do two coal mines. That's a good... That's a good shout, isn't it? And we'll get those... Yeah, we'll get that up and running. Because, like I said, I want to increase the heat level. And then... Uh, well, we're going to need more... More coal for that, aren't we? So, all good. Uh, these have reached the snowy hill. I don't think there's anything to do there. I never, I literally never read. I, right, I read them the first time, but I never read them now. I read all the story in that. But yeah, definitely... Steam hubs is n very much needed. Let's turn off overdrive. And that is because we are now seeing the arcs freeze. So this is where, yeah, let's put the uh, steam hub there. That covers like a fairly decent area. It covers our mysterious medical bay here and the factory. And then also we'll cover, we'll put that there. So that covers all of those workshops and the arc and I think we're good I think everything is covered then by a heat zone and then yeah let's do generator power upgrade 2 like I said we want to keep people uh, keep people warm we'll send these scouts to the next uh, oh no hang on these guys are on the way to wrecked village uh, wrecked vehicle ready but we've got the search for steam cores have a, has appeared. So, yeah, let's get these five out of here and we'll get them on their way. So, we'll send them up to South Pass first. That's because we've got the storm at the top here. That storm is going to creep its way uh, forward and it's going to freeze over some of the locations which we're not going to be able to get to. Oh, this is... The medical bay was chilly and so is a hot house. So, we'll get those on. Heat is on those. What's this? Huge success. Cool. So we've got the auton uh, the autonom uh was it the automaton project that's all done. So we can now use medical automatons, which is fantastic. But mainly we can they they're efficient, more efficient, which is good. Five percent efficient, but we love efficiency. Prosthetics, I feel like I should do prosthetics as well. But actually, fighting arena would uh, would be good. Soup. Uh, let's do soup because we are going to have to stockpile food and our discontent is quite low so yeah we'll we'll do soup next I say we'll do soup next we've already done it there's no going back now is that all we've got hang on how many automatons have we got three oh, I thought we were building one we want two here don't we so we got that coming in Ah, we don't have any steam cores. That's why. Okay. So we'll get we'll get these guys out of here. Get them into the workshop. Put them to use somewhere. But yeah, I think we're I think we're doing well. Ah, care house. I literally haven't <laughs> haven't built their care house. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, where can the care house go? We'll put that up by the factory. Actually, let's put it put it next to that mysterious medical bay. Cool. These guys can go to the next place. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I think I need lighter scout sleds, don't I? That's one of the things because we need those steam cores back. We've got... Hang on. Where are these steam cores? Yeah, hang on. Where... <laughs> I swear we were meant to find more steam cores by now, but we'll see. Yeah, so the problem with um, having sick people is the efficiency will just get lowered all over the shop um, because they don't go to work. Right, in terms of this, I think we need to move over 
and get our automatons onto these uh, coal mines because we don't have any coal coming in and we've just had an efficiency. Uh, we've just had a power upgrade, haven't we? So just going to check our thing. Yeah, we're not looking great on that. What's our food looking like? Our food is looking okay. Yeah, I need. I basically I need another automaton. <laughs> That's what I need. In terms of laws, I won't do prosthetics right now, but we'll do fight in arena. We can use that to cover like every single tent. So that's good there. Cool, let's get that connected up. Hopefully, yeah, here we go. We found three steam cores there. Get those back and we can get two automatons on its way. How much stuff have they got? They got a lot of coal and a lot of steel. So we just need to collect up some more wood. A letter of, uh, a letter of thanks from the engineer who did the automaton project. No worries, mate. No worries. I'm glad I'm glad you had a good time on the project. Let's go frozen pond. I feel like I need another automaton on the wall drill now. But lighter scout sleds. Yeah, we'll do lighter scout sleds because I want to get those steam cores back ASAP. That's what I need. So yeah, we should have, yeah, we'll have in a day, we'll have a day and then we'll get some steam cores. Then we can start on the the two extra automatons. I'm not thrilled about our coal, um, our coal production. So what I may do, we've got quite a lot of food. Let's get that off there and get that on the coal pile here just for now, just so we are not losing yeah just so we're not losing um thingamajig what i can actually do put this on working hours can't i and yes this will freeze over but it it takes longer than like a night to to actually freeze over we need to keep this one 24 7 though because care house the frozen pond has been reached nice nothing to do here but send send them Send them further into the storm. Cool, lighter scout sleds. That is <laughs> that is good. Okay, we need to think about, um, well, re like. Oh, hang on. We bunkhouse. Yeah, hang on. Let's have a think about this. What are these on? Chili. Okay, I think we need to do bunkhouse next. Yeah, we'll do bunkhouse. <laughs> we'll do the bunkhouse because again a temperature drop is coming in a bit okay so yeah here we go steel has come in the steel is full we're not actually collecting any steel are we over here no okay what I'm going to do is get this automaton off there get them onto onto the wall drill these guys can now go to misty valley yeah we'll send them over here so go to yeah we'll send them to broken Auto automaton first and then to misty valley but yeah i want to get i want to get that and like another automaton built as soon as we can Cool, some more resources there and more steam cores. So that's all good. Food, I need to think about food <laughs> again. I, I think we I think we're okay for food now. And another law. I'm gonna do prosthetics now because there will come a time where the automatons actually start injuring our workers which we don't which we don't want bunkhouse research fantastic steam still works oh, yeah I want to do let's right, I'm gonna slow down a little bit we're okay for heat now aren't we 
I want those. Ste I want steam coal mine. To be fair, steam coal mine, steam steel works, and I think then it will be heating. I'm trying to think what else we really need. We need resource depot upgrades, definitely. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go steel coal mine. I think it's expensive, but we'll do we'll do steel works for now just so we're not wasting time but steam coal mine i think is going to be the better option right this automaton is built amazing let's get uh, let's get that back on the food because we need to keep raw food production up as much as possible or oh, what's this stuck automaton so we'll shut down the coal mine because we can put the automaton to use somewhere else so yeah let's get that off there that onto the steel works we're out of wood that's fine serious accident no this is what i was saying so they're gonna start making amputees but uh if we slow down the automatons the efficiency will drop by 10 percent, which we can't really afford so we have to keep we have to keep going on but we can build prosthetics so I'll probably build a, a little stockpile of, of prosthetics and then they, people can just go and get one when they need to. That's so bleak. That's so bleak, but <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it is what it is in the Frostpunk universe. Cool, that's all done. Explore there. Take the resources. You go over there. We have got... Oh, yeah, we've got another one being built as well absolutely fantastic so what what do we need now i just need another automaton on the coal uh on the coal mine don't i and then we've done this autonomous city and then we'll be into like the end game so uh yeah we'll do we'll do this one next mechanical calculators once we get enough uh, once we get enough wood there we go absolutely fantastic explore there carry on broken tree my favourite broken tree <laughs> it's like imagine like going scouting and the most interesting thing you can find out there is is broken tree okay city is autonomous we've got 14 days to prepare for the storm this is the end game so we need to build five houses disband all expeditions gather 8,000 coal and gather 500 food rations easy mate easy we can do that however new manchester will will come a knock in soon and we're gonna try our best to save them i reckon we could probably save them to about 90 <laughs> percent they just will have like one thing missing i reckon but we'll, we'll we'll do our best to get everything done there it's very difficult cool that's all good so yeah we're doing steam coal mine aren't we in terms of prosthetics i'm just gonna do like five for now mechanical calculators researched uh, oh, we need more wood. I need the steam wall drill as well, actually. So we'll focus on those. In terms of chili, chili arcs, we've got the temperature drop is coming, but they are unlivable at the moment. Ah, oh, I'll tell you what we've been doing. We've been wasting. We've been wasting coal with these heaters on. <laughs> oh, no. That's not good, is it? Okay, hopefully, because we are, oh, we are like on the limit with coal. And that's because we haven't had anything collecting here. Okay, let's think about this. Nothing to do there. You guys continue on. You're doing well out there. I need that steam coal mine. That's what I need. I'll take this that one off there. Put put it on there. I'm wondering if I do need these five. I'm, I'll do... Oh, hang on. That was an automaton I built. <laughs> Hang on, we need we need process it. Okay, that's why. That's why. I I just got I got confused then. 
I got so confused. Okay, we're back in. We're back in it. Steam coal mine. Definitely need that. In terms of heat level, is that on or off? The seedling arc is cold. Oh, that's because... Okay, that's because this is off. Okay, that's fine. Another law. We do public house. Yeah, let's do public house. And these guys have got so much, like, so much stuff on them, I tell you. But I do need to open the pub now. <laughs> oh, we could probably... Yeah, uh... Let's give everyone a bunkhouse. <laughs> we give everyone a bunkhouse so we can get the steam still works down. I think these are fairly cheap. And we are doing steam coal mine, aren't we? Yeah. A figure in the distance. Okay, so this is the worker. What I'm going to do right now is get people out of there into this medical bay. We'll get the heater on it so it's working. And I'm hoping, yeah, we've got enough capacity. We've got these being built. Someone got frostbite. Sucks to be them, but is what is what it is. <laughs> A bit harsh, but it, it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, you guys go over the steam lorry. Right, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself now, and I've forgotten what my priorities were now. So. I think it definitely is steam coal mine. We just need more steel for that, though. Okay, they've fully explored over there, so they can come back. They can come back with all of their stuff. That's a lot of stuff. So twenty-four hours, we're gonna have we're gonna have more stuff than we know what to do with. We're upgrading the steel works. That's why there's nothing there. That's all good. We have got an engineer doing nothing. So we'll get them into there. Oh, these people in here probably don't need to be in there anymore. Because we are stockpiling a lot of food. Another law. Moonshine. Yeah, that's a good one. It's like no like downsides to it whatsoever. I do just need to buy, uh, buy. I need to <laughs> build the pub, don't I? Let's get that in a heat zone. I'll put that over here. Let's get a heater on there. Yeah, I nearly, nearly forgot about that. I'm a little bit worried about this. So I'm going to put that on 24 hours now. Just so we can heat this up. Cool, so... The survivor has reached the city. This is our one worker that we get additional. He's not having a good time, is he? Look at him. He's fallen over. Get up, mate. I cry for help. We come from New Manchester. He's trekked over the wilderness. Can we save him? So, I think we can, but we'll see. So, survivor's reached the city. He should make his way over. Where is he? We're just going to look. So essentially, look, there he is, there he is. Right, hang on, I need to deal with this first. Take those resources. Okay, they're fully explored over there. So again, come back to the city. Cool, so yeah, like here he is. I don't know if you can see him. I feel like he's invisible at the moment. He's right there, Harry Hazard. So the reason you need to have this medical bay here is because he is like on death's door. And he needs to make his way into the medical bay and he's made it there we go uh harry hazard has made it into the medical bay fantastic if you literally have the medical bay here he will like die around here so you need it like up this this direction so there's a top tip uh we can't abandon people in need so yeah we're, we're gonna try like i said we're gonna try and save 
New Liverpool. I don't think we'll do it, but we'll give it a we'll give it a go. Uh, in terms of this, we do need to start collecting up resources now, right? Let's get the automaton back on the steelworks. We can get them off here and this one on steelworks as well, because we are um, we are looking at basically full stockpile of wood at the moment. So yeah, once we got the steam coal mines up and running, I think we'll be in a good position. Long hours of toil, don't worry about it, it's fine. Oh nice, they came back with a lot of stuff, but they gotta go back out. <laughs> they gotta go back out to find New Manchester. Cool, right, let's actually put these to work. So, we'll do two automatons. Yeah, we'll do two, hang on, no, we'll do one automaton. We'll get these steam coal mines built. We can do another research. So steam wall drill. I don't think we need uh, steam wall drill. What we do want to do though is resource deeper upgrade. And then the other one, we've got a day until we've got another temperature drop. So we are going to have to do, we are going to have to do the other temperature power upgrade. But I think we've, I think we're on track for that. Yeah, so we can do power upgrade two, or we can do improved heaters. Either one will work. I'm tempted to do improved heaters. Because I feel like that's a little bit more efficient. These have reached expedition camp. All good. You go, go on to broken vehicle. Okay, let's get another automaton. Uh, we're getting another automaton built amazing it's gonna have six what i can do as well another factory do you want it in a heat zone if possible no i don't think we're gonna get it in a heat zone are we oh no we are there right there see so yeah, we'll do another factory and we can like double up on production of um automatons So we've got two, yeah, we've got these two working. Steam still works, amazing. There we go, look, even more stuff. <laughs> so much re, so much resource come back and we can disband them. We've got five new people put straight in there for efficiency boost. I do need to, yeah, I do need to do generator power upgrade two. What have we got? So we've got like a day. but we do need resources. So the, the good thing about this scenario is because we do have a lot of automatons. It's, um you, you don't have to rely on people. So it doesn't, uh, so a lot of people being sick doesn't, it, it, well, it does matter, but also not as, it doesn't matter as much as other, other scenarios. I do need to get saying that I did I do need to build stuff and research stuff still so <laughs> right coal is looking absolutely fantastic at the moment so we're doing the large resource depot here so we've got another automaton just doing nothing so I'm thinking we can get them on let's get them on that uh, cookhouse Drunken meltdown. Don't worry about it. So yeah, we'll get them cook on the cookhouse so we can be producing food rations 24-7. Steam cores, even more steam cores. Go to observation. Actually, we'll go to supply depot first. Because that's again a little bit close to the storm for my liking. So that's all good there. Let's do the next um upgrade. So we'll do Actually, we'll do generator up. Grade. Yeah, let's do generator upgrade first. And let's get some of these large resource depots down. So one for coal and one for food rations. And then I do want to do some actual resource depots, not the large ones. So we can start stockpiling wood and steel. Saying that I need, I need wood coming in, don't I? <laughs> so... When's this automaton going to be built? 
Man, I probably shouldn't have built this other factory. I thought I was going to be producing automatons all over the place, but clearly not. Cool. So, yeah, let's get that on coal. So, 8,000 coal. I think there's a way to see how much coal we can store, which is here. So, 6,000. So, we need even more resource depots. But this, food rations, we need 500 food rations. The messenger lives. Okay. That is absolutely fantastic. He could go work in the pub. <laughs> uh, we'll put... Uh, we won't... We won't put a heater on that. That's fine. Hidden stash. Amazing. Observation tower. Off you go. Another law. I think we're done for laws at the moment. In fact, I think we're done for laws for the rest of the game. So we're all good there. Do need something happening over at the wall drill, though. I need that automaton built. I don't know. I think it's taking so long just because it's really inefficient. We're on minus 70 now. Not ideal. But the uh, automaton is built, so let's get them on the wall drill. Let's get overdrive on. Just so we can sustain the heat level. That's all good. So, yeah, we should be good for heat at the moment. Uh, what else are we doing? Steam wall drill could be good. The stockpile wood. That Ryan, welcome to Poetry Corner. <laughs> uh, right, house. We need house houses. That's what we need. I'm wondering if this is worth it over here. I don't think it is. We've got seven automatons. Let's get... Actually, no. I, I will keep that for now. I will keep it for now. Again, long hours of toil. Just don't worry about it. Keep working. Keep you keep keep working you. Oh, that's what I wanted to do, wasn't it? Resource depots here. So we'll do one. We'll do one because that's all we can afford. <laughs> because I want to do. Uh, I need an, another one for coal, definitely, which we'll do here. So if we click on this one, we now have capacity. See, we still don't have enough capacity for coal. We have to do another one. What are these guys saying? 100 wood over there. Uh, so New Manchester. It's going to be the next... Well, we're going to try our best to do it. I, I, I don't know if we'll be able to do it or not, but we'll try our best. Steel is nearly full, but we'll do... Actually, yeah, we'll need, we need one for steel, definitely. And I think we need one for wood. Got a nice little storage area over here. Very cool. Oh, stress level critical. Get rid of that. The house has been researched. Uh, let's have a think about this. Steam wall drill. I... Mm, I don't think we need steam wall drill, you know. I think we're fine for wood. What we can do is efficiency, though. Efficiency all over the place. What are these on now? These are on chilly. So we are going to have to have another heat level soon. So, oh, we may have to work on that. New Manchester. We will try to help them. Definitely. Send them over the snow, snow dune though, but this is this is where things get difficult, right? <laughs> so we need to do 600 steel and 600 wood for and one automaton actually to New Manchester. But we're not gonna we're not gonna send them out straight away, right? Because if you send an automaton out straight away, you lose that automaton. You can't use it for anything else. Uh, I'm Trey. I'm thinking ah, uh, we could do. Right, I think we're good for heat, actually. Improved heaters will be good. We've got a house. I am thinking maybe still wall, uh, steam wall drill then. I know I said we didn't need it, but... I think we may. I think we may need to because we need to get these automatons built, don't we? And we're just running out of wood all the time. That's, what's, that's what our issue is at the moment. So, yeah, I think still... 
Uh, steam wall draw is a good idea. This one will go onto wood. That's still cold. That, that, that. Then I think we need one more. Man, these resource depots are expensive. <laughs> They're very expensive. Okay, on to Manchester Dreadnought. Hopefully there's a lot of stuff there. We've got 10 steam cores. Yeah, I think what we I think one thing here we've overlooked, or I have overlooked, is um, is the uh, is the the amount of wood we need. That's definitely definitely one thing we've overlooked. However, if we get that steam steam wall drill down, we've got we've still got like nine days left. Eight and a half days left. Okay, automaton has been built. Absolutely fantastic. The thing is, like, where do you put it? <laughs> it's a good, it's a very good question. Like, where do you put it? You know where we could put it? On the medical bay for now. And then that can go into there. We can even do... Ah, uh, hang on, yeah, let's do... Uh, yeah, let's do housing now, actually. So I'll get them out of there and we'll get those people onto building, building these. Okay, even more steam cores and more still. Again, they're gonna have a lot of stuff coming back. A lot of wood coming back actually, which is a which is a good shout. Long hours of toil, again, just don't worry about it. Got another house to go down. Steam wall drill. Let's get that built over there. <laughs> and Oh, there's so much, again, so much going on. Coal thumper we may need, you know. Actually, coal mining, like, let's do coal thumper because at the end of, um, like, the last thing you need for New Manchester is, like, a bunch of coal. And also, we need to get our coal production up anyway. So what we can, can do, in fact, I'm going to start building now. I say that I'm not going to start building now because I've got no wood. Cool, the automaton is on there. You take those resources, and now you can come back. So, the whole place has been explored. Absolutely fantastic. We've done a good job there. That was rapid, that was, I feel like. We've got a week left as well. Houses are being built, so we've done that. We'll be able to disband all the expeditions, so it'll just be the coal that we need to focus on. Um, oh, I was going to do heaters, wasn't I? That's fine. We should have enough time for it because these are fully heated at the moment. So yeah, we won't, we won't worry about that right now. We sh we could well. I think we need hot house as well. The industrial hot house. But it gets colder while we're here. We can just put it on overdrive just while we do the improved heaters. I'm thinking, do we need to, do we need to go one, I think we need to go one more level to advance heaters. Yeah, I think we do. So I think maybe we should focus on that. So actually, we don't want to build an automaton there. and We don't want one in there either. Okay, definitely, definitely advance heaters next. <laughs> That's the one thing we need to again. As I, maybe another overlook. Uh, but then the thing, like, how are you like? That's the that's the game, isn't it? <laughs> like, that's literally the game. Like, trying to figure out the best way to do it. So, just trying to think what else is here in terms of stuff. No, like overdrive couplings would be good, but that's only limited, like limited time. You can have overdrive on still, so we'll turn that off for now. Sweet, they've come back. Disband those. Where can we put them? We've got ten people. Ten people doing nothing now. I would say another automaton. Yeah, let's get that built there. We'll get another one built there. And I was going to build some gathering posts weren't I so we're gonna have like a little coal thumping uh, like section so we'll do 
three coal thumpers and we'll do like a bunch of gathering posts. That's what we're going to do. And I just want a bunch of, uh, I, I want to have like basically an automaton on each of these things. You get people in there to actually build, <laughs> to actually build stuff. That'd be beneficial, wouldn't it? And this is going to be like, this is really going to sort out our coal production, which is going to be amazing. Hopefully amazing anyway. So we've got six days left to gather 6,000 coal, but also we've got to, you know, think about, what's it? <laughs> think about, hang on, let's get right, let's get, let's get these up. We are thinking about people like the heat level will have to go up and use more coal so yeah 600 wood and 600 yeah 600 wood 600 still for new manchester right but i do want to get advanced heaters done just so we know what level we're working at with coal they still want to they still want to do those short days don't they yeah but yeah we'll start stockpiling the coal there Cold homes. I won't address that. Everyone's got a house, haven't they? Yeah. Everyone does have a house. These are still fine. Advanced heaters is on its way. And then after advanced heaters, we're going to do the rations, food rations. So, uh, what's it? This one here. The hot house. I think what I'll do as well, just while we're waiting, I'll put another... Uh, saying that we need it in a heat zone. Hmm, I need that in a heat zone, really. Does it fit at the back here? No, it doesn't. Let's get rid of that factory. I don't think we're going to need the factory. I said we're going to need about thirteen automatons, aren't? Didn't I? So we've got three left to three left to make. Let's turn overdrive on just for for now because people are freezing heater 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 <laughs> heat is all over the place but yeah let's take a look at our production it's still it's in the green but it's not the best but what i'm going to do now just because these are kind of full up get those automatons off of those put them on the actual gathering posts and that should yeah look that's massively increased our coal production which is absolutely fantastic the heaters are done so let's do industrial hothouse because i think yeah i i don't know if i said this already but we need 2500 food for new manchester plus we need 500 food for us right Let's get another couple of those built. And then we'll see. We'll see. I don't think we're going to save New Manchester, but we'll definitely save ourselves. Let's turn off overdrive for now as well. This is the lowest temperature we're going we're gonna to have. So as long as we get those 600 wood and 600 steel, we should be fine. The automaton that we're going to build here is going to go straight to... Well, actually, I say that. We're going to use it to stockpile coal first. I'm going to send them out like uh, on like the last day to New Manchester. So let's get that industrial hothouse down. Uh, time is running out. Yes, I know, but don't worry about it. <laughs> I've got it under control. <laughs> right, let's have a think about this. So we don't need any of that. I think what we're going to do now focus on like efficiency stuff because that is going to increase our coal production so automaton you can go on there i do need some on these uh, on these here oh hang on we are getting a lot of people ah it's because these are frozen over here ah I, these haven't got heaters on oh no saying that i'm going to actually get people out of those and get rid of two of them they can just go home and rest now <laughs> because I don't want them freezing and, and dying. That's not going to be 
ideal. Cool, again, I'm just going to swap these out again to get another automaton. There we go. Have we, we build in an, another one? Let's do another two. Hang on, how many do I say? Right, we need one more. I say, right, I said 13. I don't even know if 13 is, is the optimal number, to be totally honest. Freezing homes, we cannot do that at the moment. Come on, guys. Okay, I just, I just need that. I need that still, <laughs> that still to go up. 600 wood and 600 steel is a lot. There's a lot to send over. But I think, yeah, I think focusing on efficiency for the for the uh, research is going to be a good, a good shout. So there's another automaton. Let's get him on there. I'm not going to put, I'm not going to put people on there because I don't want people to die. So there's the efficiency upgrade, um, heater efficiency upgrade. Let's see. Yeah, we're we're still making about a thousand a day. I wonder, like, you know what, actually? Advanced coal mine is down there. Ah, we never did uh, coal mine and rational rationalization. 10% better on those. That would be like 32 a day, I reckon. Does it make, yeah, it would, yeah, to be fair, efficiency upgrades are always good, aren't they, so. Okay, once I get to that that wood there, so there's 600 wood. I'm going to take that off there, put them on there. There we go. Steam still works, steam still works. Yep, yeah, we'll, again, we'll leave these two on, on there for now. Oh, saying that, we've got a lot of... It's going to... Right, but I think we're going to need to focus on ourselves, you know. <laughs> Let's um, get them off still. New Manchester, you can just... Sorry you can just go away we may be able to help you out at some point i need to get that eight thousand coal that's what i'm that's what i'm desperately needing right now saying that we've got capacity for nine thousand coal so let's get let's get that coal mine rationalization done get the efficiency upgrade these guys are working working their butts off We've got the food. I'm going to do another couple of gathering posts. Uh, let's do, yeah, let's do three more. Because we've got, yeah, we've got these over here, haven't we? So, long hours of toil. I won't address that right now. Again, it's just not, not in my, uh, <laughs> not not for me at the moment right the six thousand coal that's all good that's all good plus we've got the uh, optimization oh we could do rationalization as well that's going to increase efficiency even more it's going to come down to the wire i think uh, just don't worry about the cold it's fine what i will do overdrive just for like peace of mind so that'll be good We've got, we've got not a lot of time left. <laughs> not a lot of time left, I tell you. Okay, let's get that off there. You go into there. Okay, this is, right, this is good. We, we are doing a lot of stuff here. What I am going to do, put, state, put it down to level two. That's going to use less coal. Look at that, we're, we're doing so much coal every day. I think we're going to be fine. <laughs> Plus the arcs are still heated, which is absolutely fantastic. There's engineers in there still making food, but let's send them home. In fact, one of them can go work on work on that. There we go. The city is ready. Okay, we've done it. We've done this. That is amazing. New Manchester. 
I'm a little bit disappointed I didn't get to save them, but it's difficult. It's so it's so difficult. It's so so difficult to do it. However, we haven't had anyone die, which is which is the best thing. <laughs> so let's um, you know what? Actually, let's change that back over the coal just so we are still stockpiling stuff. Oh my god, stress level is critical. We've got eight steam cores. We can move that up to level three now again. I'm wondering if I just send everyone home just so like just so they're fine. They're cold in there, which is uh, I mean, it is minus ninety, isn't it? Right, let's have a little last ditch attempt. <laughs> last ditch attempt. It's not gonna happen, but I will try. It's not gonna happen, but let's let's just look as if we're gonna try and save New Manchester. <laughs> Six hundred wood and and steel. Actually, we could get rid of that. Um, we don't need these anymore, do we? Nah, this is a last ditch attempt to save New New Manchester. saying that there's 600 wood let's get that on there with 200 steel away from it but hey we've done it we've done it <laughs> so there we go the arcs on extreme difficulty no deaths didn't get to save new manchester but we, we tried our best so thank you so much for watching stay safe have fun i'll see you on the next one